Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to show you one of the highly profitable trading strategy that I have been using for quite a long time now, and it has a high win rate, so be sure to stick around till the end of the video to better understand this strategy. Please don't forget to click the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Now, let's get started. In this strategy, we are going to use three indicators. Firstly, you have to go to the Indicators tab and search for SSL Hybrid Indicator and click on this one. That's the first indicator. Now search for ADX and DI Indicator, which is the second indicator, and click on this one. And finally, search for Momentum Zigzag and click on this one to add it to the chart. Now let's set up the indicators for the strategy. Go to the settings of the SSL Hybrid Indicator and on the Input section, uncheck this Show ATR Bands, change this SSL1 baseline type from Whole Moving Average to Exponential Moving Average, and then reduce the value of the SSL1 baseline length from 60 to 50 and leave other settings to their defaults. Then go to the Style section and uncheck all these options, except for this Moving Average baseline, the SSL1, the bar color, and this other options at the downside, and click OK. Now go to the settings of the ADX and DI, and leave this two setting on the input to their default settings, go to the style section and uncheck this ADX option. Change the line of the center line from dashed line to normal line, and the color to yellow, and increase the thickness as well. Finally, increase the thickness of the D plus and D minus, and click OK. Now the momentum zigzag doesn't have much settings to change, and we will leave it to its default setting. Now that our setup for the strategy is ready, let's explain these indicators one after another. Let's start with SSL Hybrid Indicator. SSL Hybrid Indicator, according to our setting, is a more customized exponential moving average designed to determine trend direction and to give a trade entry signal at the same time. When the price is above this SSL line, and both the candles and the SSL line are blue, it shows that the price is in an uptrend, and when it is below the SSL line, and both candles and the SSL line are all red, it shows that the price is in a downtrend. When the SSL line changes from red to blue, it shows a buy signal, and when it changes from blue to red, it shows a sell signal. For example, here on the chart, you can see that the price was moving downwards and below the SSL hybrid line. When the price got to this point, it reversed. But you got a buy signal here and the SSL line changed from red to blue and blue candles started forming. Then you could have placed a long trade entry like this and set your stop loss at this low and extend your profit target to the risk to reward ratio of 1.6. And if you run the replay, you can see that the price reached our profit target, in this way confirming the signal from the indicator. Let's show this again, but in the opposite direction. Here on the chart, you have the price moving upwards, but when it reached this point, it crossed below that SSL hybrid line, but there was no trade entry because you had multiple long wick candles forming which are rejecting the SSL line. Then, when it came back to retest the SSL line, you had this bearish momentum candle forming, giving you a sign of downward continuation. Then, you will take a short trade entry like this and set your stop loss at this swing high here, and extend your profit target to the risk to reward ratio of 2.3. And if you run the replay, you can see that the price reached our profit target. Now, let's look at the second indicator. ADX and DI is just a normal indicator, designed to give a trade entry signal and trend direction as well. This green line represents bullish movement, and the red line represents bearish movement. When this green line cross above the red line, it shows that upward movement is about to start or the price is in a strong uptrend. And when the red line cross above the green line, it shows that a downward movement is about to start or the price is in a strong downtrend. Then this yellow line, which is the center line, is just a price level that determines how strong a trend is. Now, let's use example to explain this even further. Here on the chart, you can see that the price was moving down, and the ADX and DI red line was above the center line and green line. 
Then when the price reached this point, it reversed. And the green line crossed above the center line and the red line as well, giving you a sign of upward movement. Then you will take a trade entry long and set your stop loss at this low and extend your profit target to 1.7 risk to reward ratio. Let's run the replay to see the result of this setup. You can see that the price reached our profit target. Now, let's explain the third indicator. Momentum zigzag is just a simple indicator that traders use to measure the exhaustion of a trend and the beginning of a new trend, or where a trend may stop and reverse. This then helps to eliminate random price fluctuations. As you should know by now, the price of crypto or any tradable asset doesn't move in a straight line, but in a zigzag manner. For example, if you could have entered a long position at this candle, you will not exit the trade or open a sell position until the zigzag line formed at the top like this. But then you could have entered short after the price formed this lower low, which shows that the price may continue downwards. And if you run the replay, you can see that signal from the indicator is a bit correct and somewhat accurate. Now, let's try combining the three indicators in one strategy to show how effective the strategy will be. Here on the chart, this example has the combination of the three indicators, and it is the same example I just showed you on the momentum zigzag. And I just want to show you how effective this strategy is. In that example, we place a long trade here because when the price reached this point, you can see that the SSL hybrid line changed from red to blue and the ADX and DI green line crossed above the center line and the red line, which was an early signal before the price moved up like this. Then when the price reached this point, the momentum zigzag formed, showing trend exhaustion and the price reversed. When the price reached here, the SSL line turned red and the ADX and DI red line crossed above the center line and the green line, which gives you an early sign of a downward continuation. Then you will take a trade entry short at the close of this candle and set your stop loss above this candle and extend your profit target according to your risk to reward ratio. And if you run the replay like this, you can see that price reached our profit target in this way, making this trade set up a high quality trade. Let's show this again, but in the opposite direction. Here on the chart, you first got this trend exhaustion from the momentum zigzag. And also from the price action psychology, the price formed double bottom and you had it drawn in. Again, the ADX green line crossed above the center line and red line as well. Then the SSL line changed from red to blue and this blue candle closed above it, giving you an early sign of a bull run. Then you will take a trade entry long and set your stop loss like this because of all your confirmation and extend your profit target according to your risk to reward ratio. And if you run the replay, you can see that the price reached our target, which would have made you a resounding profit. Please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm Subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we upload more videos. Thanks for watching. And finally, comment below your result when you test out this strategy.